So hello, today I would like to start a new playlist for one of the spectacular Beatles of Southern America. Dynastis Neptunus is one of the most famous besides Dynastis. Hercules is probably the most prominent of these big rhinoceros beetles from South America. And I have one here since around two years now. Last time I checked it, it was a 53.8 gram in the larva inside of this 22 liter box that you see here. I keep them in there with some white rotten wood, with some leaves as you can see. And now today I would like to uh, check the weight of the larva, whether she is still uh, living in here or not. Um, and then we go on. Uh, with making videos about Neptunus in the next uh, a few months until I hope that they will close as adults uh, so that we can see how nice they look. So first I just want to go through the substrate to see what happens in here. There are no fresh pellets here on top of the box visible. There we go there. So now here you see the uh, big white rotten wood pieces that I presented to the larva. And yeah, I see here in the box it's sitting down here in the edge of the box. Now it's covered with materials here in this edge. Yeah, now I'll take her out so that we can see, the, see it. how big she is. She looks great. She has a, a much broader body than the, the head capsule, so that's a good sign for the health of a lover. She looks also clean and fat, and that's a, a nice larva of the Ostis Neptunus. You also see the little hair has on the body, that's how they receive signals from other larvae that shake uh, the substrate inside of a tree so to sign and analyze the others where the, uh, some uh, partners or, or colleagues are from of this uh, species. So let's see how heavy the larva is. 49 grams, so she lost a little weight since the last time that I checked weight, but she looks healthy. She also has tuned into some pieces of, of wood that are placed on the bottom of the box to suck up all the, the excess water here, so that seems to be a good idea also for this kind of uh, beetles to place on the bottom some uh, pellets, wood pellets that can suck up excess moisture in the box, so that seems to be a good idea. And I just do what I do now with her. I just place her back in the in that the place where she was here in the in the edge of the box, and I put one of these locks on top, so that she's a bit covered here. And of course, I put all the material back. I think that the the material of the box is very good here, so we don't have to change a lot of things with this breeding box. We just place the material back, and then we have wait. We have to wait and to wait. Also, this larva is in a room where it is not too warm. It's never 20 degrees. It's always around between 18 and 19 degrees, because it said that the you know, this Neptunus lives in a little bit uh, colder habitat than, for example, the Nessie's Hercule. So, so I want to check this out. Um, we will see in half an year, probably, we can, I can give you some more information about the Nostris Neptunus, or also they say today they, they, they changed the name uh, of the Nostris for Neptunus to Theogenes, so that's probably better because uh, the anesthetic they look a bit different than um, the Neptune uh, beetle. 
So nice that you stay with me. If you like to see more videos, uh, subscribe and then you get uh, an email every time I add a new video. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.